Hey guys, happy Monday. We have some Yankee news to discuss, but before we get into any of that, if you guys enjoyed the video and you love Yankee content and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 4,000. Hit that like button, comment down below on what you guys think. So, Yankees signed a brand new player. <laughs> That's always fun to talk about. Yankees signed Chris Owings to a minor league deal, and he's a very, very versatile according to my boy Jason over at River Ave he's a very versatile infielder he can virtually play anywhere this signing just adds organizational depth now he did start off the season over in Baltimore and he wasn't very good actually just hitting over 100 so Baltimore they designated him for assignment they cut him and the Yankees a week later pick him up hey, listen super low risk high reward signing uh, Owings is and you know like I said it just adds organizational depth so Chris Owings welcome to the Yankee org organization now this next thing that I want to talk about it's kind of making me a little nervous maybe he's okay who knows but Isaiah kind of for left is dealing with hamstring soreness and this kid man it, it, he's hitting what 265 270 this year but he's per he does the the little things on the diamond that maybe analytics doesn't really cover and he just he he knows how to play the game of baseball, quite frankly. And Falefa, he's been very good for the Yankees. Um, puts the ball in play a bunch, and that's what the Yankees needed. Listen, we strike out all the time, and that was our reputation. Falefa is just the opposite of that. And for him to be dealing with this issue, I think this will cause a bit of an issue for the Yankees if he is out for an extended period of time. There's no news how long he's out for, if it's just day to day, but he is dealing with hamstring soreness. Like I said, Falefa just does the little things on the diamond that just provides this impact to the Yankees. Sometimes you might think that we're not really feeling it, but Falefa is really, he's playing a good shortstop for us, much better than what Glaber did last year. And I think that has a lot to do with the Yankees' success. I know that, that might be a little crazy to say, but when you have a good shortstop, when you have a dude over there who can make the routine play, who just provides you solid defense, that that means a lot. And Falefa also he doesn't strike out much, so that's really good too. So Falefa very good this season for the Yankees. Hopefully this isn't anything serious. Now down in AAA, we have Oswald Peraza. I heard talking Yanks talk about him. Um, Oswald Peraza, he's really not playing all that great down in AAA, I believe just over a 200 batting average, not very good, but I wonder if we could see him up on the roster sometime this year, just to see what you have, what he's 21, 22 years old, just to see what you got. Maybe he comes up and he plays well. Floreal last season, not talking about this year, but last season, Floreal struggled down there in AAA. Then you brought him up. Obviously, it was a really small sample size, 13 games. But Floriel had a 300 batting average. He had a home run. So he made an impact on the Major League roster. If Isaiah kiner falefa is out, do you consider calling up Oswald Peraza? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. This is Joe. Until next time, signing out.